Despite the pandemic, thousands of people went to the polls today in Wisconsin to vote in that state's primary. And as ABC's Alex Presha reports, there are now questions about the early warning about coronavirus that the White House ignored. In Wisconsin, the polls are open, but not very many. That's leading to overcrowding, putting people deemed at higher risk of catching the novel coronavirus, like poll worker Scott Trindle, in potential danger. I mean, I, I am 65. I'm a type 2 diabetic. I have had heart issues. The wait at some locations, three hours. This is the hand we've been dealt. Um, there's people who still need to vote. The state Supreme Court ruling in favor of today's in-person primary and the U.S. Supreme Court overruling a lower court's decision to extend absentee voting until next Tuesday. Those rulings along partisan lines coming despite warnings from federal health experts that this would be one of the two deadliest weeks of the COVID-19 pandemic in the country. The state's lieutenant governor tweeting his dismay. And in Washington, new details about an early warning the White House received on the health and financial damage the coronavirus could do across the country. First reported by the New York Times, ABC News has confirmed Peter Navarro, the president's top trade advisor, had written two memos which state, the lack of immune protection or existing cure or vaccine would leave Americans defenseless in the case of a full-blown coronavirus outbreak on U.S. soil. That memo is dated January 29th followed by a second in February, and confirmed to ABC by multiple sources that they were circulated within the White House, though this was the president in early March, more than a month later. It's an unforeseen problem. What a problem. Came out of nowhere, but we're taking care of it. Surgeon General Jerome Adams has said that he did not see the memo, but acknowledged that this virus has, quote, humbled many of us in government. As for the economic relief plan, the president is touting the Small Business Paycheck Protection Program, which started last week. The America's small businesses are the backbone of our communities. Still, ABC has touched base with many businesses who are reporting glitches in the system. I spent all day online trying to apply for this, so I apply for that. The Treasury Secretary is working with congressional leadership to secure an additional $250 billion to fund that PPP. Meanwhile, the president fired Glenn Fine today. He's the inspector general tasked with overseeing that $2 trillion stimulus. Alex Prashay, ABC News, Washington.